is what's making news now around Indiana. Brought to you by Chapman Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing. The man for all seasons. Chapman, chapmanheating.com. Well, the Bottle Works Hotel in downtown Indianapolis officially opened this week. The Bottle Works Hotel is the first big milestone in the massive $300 million downtown mixed-use development at the former Coca-Cola bottling plant along Mass Ave. Our Mary Rachel Redmond takes us inside the Bottle Works Hotel. It's a 140-room boutique hotel that has a history all its own. Smart, efficient rhythm of modern industry on the move. It was 1931, and James Yonker and his brother Lee embarked upon what was billed as the finest bottling plant in the country. Every bottling plant is an integral part of the business life of the community. Despite the United States suffering through the Great Depression, the Yonker brothers defied the odds to construct perhaps the most beautiful Coca-Cola complex ever built. From its glistening white terracotta exterior and ornate Art Deco style interior, the brothers quickly began to grow a booming business. They were able to expand more than doubling its size from Massachusetts Avenue up to 10th Street. By 1950, this was the largest bottling operation of its kind, producing more than 2 million bottles of Coca-Cola per week. Uh, this was the largest bottling facility in the world. Now, nearly 70 years later, it's part of a rebirth that will mean jobs, investment, and increased vitality for this popular Indianapolis neighborhood. For decades, uh, you know, this property was not accessible. But I was lucky enough to snag a sneak peek. We worked with Indiana Landmarks uh, to tell us a bit of the story of this building. The address was on Massachusetts Avenue, which is where the main entrance is, which is now our lobby. This was uh, once the main entrance of the offices of the Yonker Brothers. Is this all original? This is all original. In the staircase, the curvature is reminiscent of soda fountains. And then on the ceiling, uh, the circle there um, is reminiscent of bubbles. As you came up the rotunda, the secretary would greet you here. You'd find her little secretary desk, and she had her own private bathroom. Uh, and of it's course. Pink. pink, very <laughs> feminine, why not? This is definitely one of the most unique rooms in the entire building. Uh, this was the lab. This is where kind of the magic happened. They created the Coca-Cola. If uh, there was too much pressure and the bottle caps popped off, uh, they were thrown down uh, these chutes. And so you could actually still see the bottle caps here uh, oh, yeah. for Coca-Cola. So what's the significance? I've seen these throughout the hall. Yeah, the red door. We like to say this building is a classic reimagined. As part of the brand, it's an, a nod to Coca-Cola. So this is one of our landmark kings. Again, you see little touches of red throughout. In all of your rooms, you've got Indiana products. So here you'll see Best Chocolate in Town, located just across the street from the hotel. We also have Broad Ripple Chip Company. Mm -hmm. Our beds were manufactured in Plain Field uh, by Tempers Healy. We have Gilchrist and Soames also in Plainfield. Our Bluetooth speakers uh, available in every guest room are Klipsch, so we're loving to support local and uh, really embrace all things Indiana. This here is a fully functioning garage door. Just beyond it, you'll see a second grid. Those are actually screens. This door could be open for airflow throughout the building. It's all original. Yep, all original, um, and the trucks would come in and out. On the exterior, you'll actually see receiving. And just beyond these doors is where we will find uh, Modita, which will be a full-service restaurant. It's really unique space. And as the Bottle Works District embarks upon the largest private development in Indiana's history amid a global pandemic, one can almost see the parallels with what the Yonker Brothers did so many years before during the Great Depression. We've been very lucky. Obviously, construction continued through the pandemic. Um, so we have some great local contractors, regional contractors, um, just very skilled tradesmen. Uh, it's, I'm thrilled to see their photographs throughout our, our hotel and the guest hallways. Uh, it really is a, a tribute to their talents. Our industry has been hit pretty hard through the pandemic, but we're excited to open our doors to showcase what hospitality is in Indiana uh, and bring something new to the city. Mary Rachel Redman, Inside Indiana Business. All right, Mary Rachel, thank you. Fascinating uh, facility there for sure.